Hey guys, Panda here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I record and stream games on my Oculus Quest 2. There are a lot of ways to do this, but I'm going to show you my way, which allows you to record your voice with the gameplay, even if you don't have a decent wireless mic. Built into the Quest 2 is a really easy way to stream and record yourself. All you have to do is press a button and you're good to go. The only problem is that these built-in methods have a lot of bugs and don't work properly most of the time. For example, if you record a long gameplay session, your audio and video will come out of sync and you'll have to realign it in post, which is really, really annoying. And for streaming, sometimes the mic doesn't even stream, even though you have it selected to stream your mic. Plus, streaming only allows you to do it to Facebook and not Twitch or YouTube or any other platforms, which is what I like to do. So today I'm going to show you a better streaming and recording method that only requires you have a decent internet connection, your phone, a decent computer, and you giving this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Broken down really simply, here is how I have everything set up to record. First, I cast my headset footage and audio to a computer. Then I connect a mic to the computer, and in my case, I'm using my phone as a wireless mic, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a minute. And then I use a free program called OBS to capture the gameplay, audio, and mic, and use it to mix the levels and get everything synced and sounding good. So really, it's that easy, and if that's all you wanted to know, thanks for watching, have a great day. But if you want to know more about how to do this, especially how to use your phone as a wireless mic, then stick around. So there are a couple of ways to cast to the PC. The way I'm doing it is with a new feature that's just launched that allows you to cast from your headset to oculus.com slash casting. Before you had to pay for some software or buy special hardware to be able to use your Chromecast, but now all you need to do is have oculus.com slash casting open and you can cast to your PC. Just make sure that both your PC and headset are on the same Wi-Fi, preferably five gigahertz for the best quality and you're good to go. Once you have it on screen, you just have to unmute it and then use OBS to crop the image into the right aspect ratio, which I'll show you how to do towards the end of this video. For this step, if you have a wireless mic like a lot of content creators have, you just need to connect your mic to the PC and you're done. But if you're like me and don't want to buy an expensive new mic, let me show you how to turn your phone into a wireless mic. So first, you need to install the WO, w -O, mic app and its drivers on your computer and on your phone. I'll put links in the description. Once you have the program installed on both your phone and your PC, you need to connect your phone to the PC. There are a couple of different connection types that you can use, but I find that using the Wi-Fi connection produces the best results. If you use Bluetooth, you'll probably have problems with latency and your voice becoming robotic. Using Wi-Fi fixed these issues for me. To connect your phone via Wi-Fi, you need to select that as the connection type on your phone's app and then hit the play button. Then open the Womic app on your PC and hit connection, connect, select Wi-Fi as the connect type, and then enter your phone's IP address. If you're not sure what it is, it should display in the Womic app on your phone. And once you have the IP address entered, just hit connect on the bottom of the PC app and you should be good to go. Your phone should now be acting as a microphone for your computer. Once you have your phone connected, there are a couple of ways that you can position it to get the clearest results. First, if you have a lavalier mic or some earbuds with a decent mic, you can leave the phone in your pocket and then just position the headphone or lavalier mic pointed at your face. For example, with earbuds, you could just use some tape to tape it to the front of your shirt. But if you don't have earbuds or a lavalier mic, you just need to position your phone with the mic pointing at your face. When I was doing this before, I was wearing a shirt with a chest pocket and then putting the phone in my pocket with the mic pointed up. This worked surprisingly well actually, and with my newer phone, the mic sounded great. Alright, so now you need to install OBS, which is a free software that is the standard for recording and streaming that even the legends like PewDiePie use. So if you're new to OBS, I recommend you check out some tutorials just so you can get the basics down. But right now I'm going to show you a really simple setup to get your gameplay footage and to get your audio and also to get your mic audio all set up and ready to go. All right. So first we need to get the image of VR. So we have the VR image casting to a display. So we're just going to come over here and we're going to get we're going to select window capture. All right. I'm going to add that. And we're going to select Google Chrome as the window image that we want to capture. All right, we're going to hit OK on there. Um, I'm going to right click this, transform, and we're going to fit to screen. Okay, so there we go. We got our image. But now we need to get that cropped so that it looks good. So I'm going to come over to the image and I'm going to make it a full screen image. 
All right, so now we have our full screen Windows image, but still it's not cropped, it's not looking good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of expand this just so it hits the edge right there. And then we're gonna expand this side over here. Oh, that doesn't really expand it, I guess. I guess you gotta drag from the corner, so we're gonna expand that. All right, you're gonna have to play around with it, but essentially what we're gonna do is we want the screen to take up the entire black space while cutting out as little as possible. So like right now, okay, I got it to fit, but I feel like I'm cutting out a little bit too much. So I'm gonna shrink it down just a little bit and see right there looks just about perfect, okay? So I'm gonna right click it now and I'm going to transform. I'm gonna center vertically. And then just to make sure everything's good, I'm gonna center horizontally as well. Okay, perfect. So now we have our game image sitting right there, okay? But now we need to make sure we're getting our audio. So make sure that you have it unmuted. Go back to the play area so you can see that. All right, so make sure that's unmuted. And then you're gonna go right here to this little gear by desktop audio. I'm gonna select properties. And you wanna make sure that you have selected from this list the correct output for your computer. All right, so for me, that's this VG1 right there. And as you can see, the game, well, it's not really game, but the home environment in, in, the, in the headset is making noise and you can see the bar moving right here with that. Okay, so that means you got it to work. Now we need to set up our mic. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna select properties and I'm gonna select the Woe mic device. I don't have it connected right now, but once you have it connected, you'll see the bar moving up and down when you're talking just like this one, okay? Now, what you want to do now that you have both of those set up, you're getting both your um, both of your audios and you're getting your image. It's cropped. It looks good. The last thing you want to do is you want to mix the audio to make sure it sounds good. All right. So what I tend to do is I turn to turn down the desktop audio and my mic audio. And then depending on the game, I might turn myself up a little bit louder or turn the desktop audio a little bit louder or a little bit quieter. Essentially, you want this bar to come up and barely touch the yellow. You don't want these bouncing bars to go into the red because if it's going into the red, you're gonna start getting some distortion and we don't want that. So what you need to do is you need to connect your mic and then you need to talk into it, like have it set up where you're gonna have it set up for the game and talk into it and then just kind of lower the volume until your normal speaking voice reaches just barely hitting the yellow line and then you want to make sure that your desktop audio is doing about the same thing you want to be careful not to make your desktop audio too loud compared to your voice or too quiet compared to your voice it might take a couple of streams for you to get used to that and figure out the right settings for you I know that a couple of my streams I had myself really quiet and then somebody in the chat told me to turn myself up so I did that and then there was a couple of streams where you couldn't hear my teammates playing talking in population one just because I had my desktop audio too low and I was too loud so it takes a little bit of practice and messing around and every game is going to be slightly different so just mess around here again you just want to make sure that you can hear uh, that people can hear what you're saying and that they can hear what the game is saying one other thing that you can do is you want to separate what channels your audio is going to now if you don't know what that means don't worry I'll show you what I mean in just a second but let's say for example that you want to both record and you want to stream all right so if you want to record you often want your desktop audio and your mic audio going to two separate channels so that you can change them up so that you can mix them afterwards um, for example let's say you record it you end up finding out that your voice is too loud if you have your voice on a separate channel from the game audio you can easily just turn yourself down but if you recorded your voice to the same channel as your game audio there's nothing you can do it's stuck at that level you can't really lower it or make it louder without making the gameplay audio also lower or louder so again you just want to you want to set the settings so that both your audio channels go to different tracks so that when you're editing it, it makes everything a lot easier so the way you're going to do that is you're going to come over here to the top you're going to go to file and settings and then in settings we're going to come over here to output and then we're going to click on the recording tab okay if yours doesn't look exactly like this it's because i'm using the advanced output mode um, so just click on advanced and then come over here to where it says audio track I output track one and track two and then not three four five or six all right leave those unchecked so I have one and two checked what this means is is that my recordings are gonna send out two audio tracks okay and so then when I open up the file in a video editing software like DaVinci I can see both audio tracks and I can edit them separately all right 
If you do this, what I recommend is you come over to the streaming tab and then you select track six as the audio track. This means that track six is what's gonna be sent to Twitch or YouTube or wherever you're, you're streaming. That's the track that people are gonna hear, okay? So we're not done yet, we're gonna hit okay. And then you're gonna come over here to the audios and you're gonna come over to the gear and hit advanced audio properties. And then you're gonna come over here to tracks on the right. So what I have here is I have my desktop audio output to track one and six and nothing else. And then I have my mic track outputting to track two and six and nothing else. So what that means is, is after I record something, my gameplay audio is gonna be on track one and my voice audio is gonna be on track two, on two separate tracks. But let's say I wanna stream, they're both automatically outputting to the stream tracks, track number six, and I don't have to change any settings. That means I can hit stream, I can hit record. Either way, it's gonna work automatically. There's no settings I have to mess with, okay? So that's all you need to do and you'll be able to get the um, audio worked out perfectly so that you can edit it or stream it however you want. So now that you have everything set up in OBS, you should be good to go to stream or record or do whatever you want to do. I hope this helps you guys with your content and if it did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And if you have any questions or just wanna play some games together, join our growing Discord community in the link below. I always try to answer your questions in the comments, but it's a lot easier for me to respond in the Discord server, so go check that out. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'm out.